the beautiful koala, one of our Aussie icons. People from all over the world come to see them. It seems we just can't get enough of them. Or can we? We always think of koalas as being endangered or threatened, but would you believe that in some areas koala populations are so high that they are becoming a pest? When the food is on tap and their bellies are full, they breed extremely well. But this is causing all sorts of problems. If they're breeding well and there's lots of food, why is that so bad? One of the problems face is that quite often the koalas are in small patches of habitat. So as the population numbers increase, there's nowhere for the extra koalas to go. So basically they'll keep eating until there are no leaves left on the trees, which kills the trees and can lead to starvation of the koalas. Okay, and would they get to like an amount of koalas that's just too much, if there's too many of them in that small area? Yep, so you just get way too many koalas in a small area, um, no leaves left on the trees, the trees eventually die, and so you can get death of the koalas through starvation, and also you get effects on the other animals within the environment. So how do you fix the problem? Well, the solution could be found in this tiny little implant. Tell me about the implant. Um, the Peptec implant contains a contraceptive. Uh, once we put it under the koala's skin, it slowly releases the contraceptive and stops the female mating and becoming pregnant. And this usually lasts for at least 18 months. It's a very quick um, and painless procedure to do to the koalas, um, and it's a very small implant. Kathy and her team have been monitoring the progress of this group of koalas for quite some time now. And of course, when you carry out a study like this, there is always other things that need to be considered. What other things are you looking at with the koalas? Basically what we do, Faye, is we monitor their day-to-day -day health all the time because they're kept in a captive colony. The keepers check on them daily. They get weighed once every two weeks just to make sure that the implant isn't having any adverse effects on their health. Um, we also check their pouches once every month um, just to see if they've had um, a newborn baby. And if they have, have, that obviously means that the implant has stopped working. Now the million dollar question is, does the implant work? The findings to date have been really promising. Uh, we haven't found any negative side effects and it appears, most importantly, to stop the females breeding for periods of at least 18 months. Um, I think the next step now will be to move to the field to do a field trial and hopefully improve the welfare of our famous Aussie icon in the wild.